Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a fabric haul for you. I am currently in New York City in Manhattan and uh, I literally just came back about 20 minutes ago from the garment district um, and I thought, hey, what better time for me to show you what I picked up. Now, bear in mind, I didn't actually have a lot of time there. Um, I wanted to spend longer, but the weather is just so bad at the moment. It has been raining for hours and hours and hours and it was just getting a little bit too much to just be out there getting soaked because not only is it raining, it's also kind of warm. It's like 17, 18 degrees raining and there's snow on the floor. It's very strange weather at the moment. So I thought, you know what, I'll give up now if the weather changes, I'll go back out again. But for the moment, I will come back and I'll show you guys what I picked up. Now, I only ended up going to like three places and I only picked up fabric from two places. But those two places, I am very happy with my purchases. So, let's get started. So, the first place I went to was Mood. I couldn't not go there. Last time I came to New York, I was literally only here for 24 hours. This time I'm only here for two days. So today was really the only day that I was gonna get to go. Um, and it didn't disappoint. It is huge, it is absolutely huge. I guess after watching Project Runway like a couple of years back, I've always wanted to go there and I finally got to go there. So that was pretty cool. It is very big. I only got one thing from there. Out of all the fabric there, all of the three million fabrics that were there. I only picked up one. I also don't have enough space in my luggage, so I had to really think about what it is that I wanted to bring. And I found this really quite nice, just like simple pattern, which is really, really me. So this is what I picked up. It's like a, it's a printed silk. I got five yards of it. And it's basically uh, a, like a scribble drawing of like waves. This basically looks like one of my old notebooks and I really, really like the whole hand drawn feel to it. So this is why I picked that up. Um, and this was, I think it was like $14 a yard and I picked up five yards of this. And that is all I picked up from Mood. I think I was very, very restrained. I'm very proud of myself. As I was walking out of the store, I spotted on the way back, a store called Spandex World. Spandex World. Spandex World. That's right. So <laughs> I was like, okay, it's called Spandex World. I'm gonna go inside. And yeah, it's exactly exactly what it says on the on the tin. Spandex everywhere. Every single kind. And uh, you don't really get that so much in the UK. Uh, you can find like good spandex here and there but like you can't find like every color in the world and everything just there on your doorstep and at such a good price like they were not expensive at all and uh, I had so much fun making my own swimwear last year and that's actually one of my most popular videos that I thought you know what I'm gonna have a have a couple of goes making different types of swimwear for myself and hopefully some tutorials for you guys so I thought let me just go pick up a few bits and uh, see how we do and that's when I ended up going a little bit crazy I picked up like four different ones but I think it's okay because I picked up so much that I can probably do a two-piece and a one piece in each fabric. I'm gonna be swimming in bikinis, pun intended. So, first things first, I got this super cute polka dot. Look at this, polka dot. So, like, I don't know, I think polka dots are like in at the moment, but I'm really feeling polka dots. Um, so I got this uh, white with black dots because when it comes to swimwear, I kind of like having contrasting colors to my skin. Uh, I do like the black bikini, but I like white bikinis better. I think it's like a good color pop. So that is why I got this one. Um, I have some ideas for this. I do want to make a one piece with this, but I also want to make like a really cool, like a, crisscross like wrap around bikini type situation with this so this was like six dollars uh, a yard so I picked up two of this because I wanted extra next all of their plain spandex or plain swimwear material lycra um, uh, I think they were like six or six between six and eight dollars each so I just got like a plain black because you can never go wrong with black spandex uh, uh, uh. not just for swimwear also for dancewear sportswear even so if I don't use this all for swimwear then I might use it to make some gym clothes because I think that's something I definitely want to tackle this year new year new me new gym wear let's go okay on to the next fabric so to complement the black 
I wanted to go a little bit more, uh, maybe schmexy with my uh, with my gym stuff. So I got this really nice black mesh. I've seen so many nice swimsuits, really nice gym wear with it has like the mesh panels and stuff. So I got two meters of this, and it's very wide. Look how wide it is. I wanted to have a lot of this so that I can put it in my clothes, put it in my dresses, put it in my swimwear, put it in my underwear. So, you know, this year for me, year of the mesh. Year of the swimsuit and the gym clothes and the mesh. Okay, it's another spandex, but I think I wanted a different color to go with and I was so tempted to buy this beautiful yellow, but maybe next time because this green, it's like a seafoam green. It's almost a teal. It's almost the khaki. It's such a nice material and it's not shiny. It's completely matte, super stretchy, but it's also quite thick. So I probably will only need to self line it once, which means I just need to double up and this will be perfect. So this, I really want to make a really nice two piece bikini out of. So that is that and I got two I got two meters of this, so I can not only can I make a bikini, but I could probably make a swimsuit. I might even make some gym clothes out of it. Now that I've got enough, I can probably like mix and match the whole lot and give myself like a whole summer wardrobe. Yeah, and that is pretty much it. It's not a lot, but I am very excited about it. That is my fabric haul, and I hope you enjoyed. And I promise you, I know I don't have a lot of time to do DIY so much, but this I'm gonna make time for so probably the next DIYs that you'll see are all stretchy and spandex related because that's something I'm really interested in pursuing and learning more about and because of that you guys can learn more about it too so let's learn how to make swimwear, gym wear and stuff like that together okay all right so I'll see you guys in the next video and uh, have a great day night, evening, wherever you are. Bye.